All right, in this video, I want you to tell me what kind of worms you think these are. Because I purchased my worms from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. And I was told that they have a mixture of red wigglers and blue wigglers together. And now, I'm starting to think that maybe some of these worms are blue. Because I look at the color of them. And they're completely different from the red wigglers. So, you let me know your thoughts. Leave your comments in the box below. What I did, I went out and purchased a one gallon sprayer. And this is going to be strictly just for my red wigglers and European nightcrawler worm bins. I like it because it's going to be quick and easy to wet down my bedding in the worm bins. It was affordable. And my worms are going to be happy because their home is going to be a safe and moist environment. So enjoy the video. Well, hello. Now it's time to change the worm castings in my red wiggler worm bin because it's been a while. But first, let's see what's going on. Got some worms right on the side right here. That's no big, they're gonna go back in here. Little worm ball. But that kind of means they're not happy. But I'm going to put these bad boys back into the bin. And get ready to take these castings out of here so let me go ahead and um, do that real quick because I'm going to put new bedding in here so I'll make my worms happier again as I'm starting to take the castings out I just want to see if my worms migrated into the middle because I had food scraps in the middle of the bin around well, I don't see them because the food that was in the middle is gone but there's worms all over the place in here but yeah they need some new bedding because look how much castings I'm going to have to sort, sift, or whatever to get the worms out of there. But let me go ahead and once again put that bedding in there. This is the reason I got that sprayer. When I wet this bedding down, I'm going to add some eggshells for some grit. Give them some food scraps. See, this is really quick. That makes it a lot easier to get your bedding nice and wet. It's not as messy. Yeah, sprayer is handy. For a worm bin. It's good enough for now. Give them some grounded up eggshells. Grit. Let's give them some food scraps. Someone asked me what I, which worms I like better, the Euros or the Red Wigglers. And by far, I like the Red Wigglers because of their composting ability and devouring food scraps. 
but sorting them is a pain in the booty. So let me go ahead and get some food scraps, cover it up. I'm going to get some newspaper and just put it as a cover sheet. Now the ones have more space to uh, move around in. The castings here is what I have to go through. There's a lot of worms in this, so I'm not going to bore you with that. So let's look at the Euros and see what I'm going to do with that worm, Ben. All right, Euros. There's one right there. Cover sheet's hot. Not hot, but dry, so I'm going to wet that down. Their castings are getting ready to be to want to be harvested pretty soon. Move some stuff around. Let me go ahead and just feed them because I will have to do this spin another day. But they're easier to take care of because they're bigger and easier to sort through. But that's it for now. Quick video on a much needed do harvest for my red wigglers. But um, I just want to say thank you for your time. Like the video, subscribe, and leave a, leave a comment in the box below. You guys have a great day. Bye. I thought I'd add some bonus footage. Because I'm not going to sift these castings. The ones that are left in this bin. It's a clear tote. I switched it out instead. Made it a clear tote. I'm going to get some newspaper. Put it down. Add these peppers in there. And my goal is to cause, to make the rest of the worms to migrate over here. So that way I won't have to do anything to the food scraps. So I'll cover it up just a little bit. Come back in about two weeks to see how many worms migrated over. And the ones that did not make it through are going to go outside and try to start a compost bin for next year.